How is it, Jan? Some of you and this is Why Does Luxembourg Exist? by the channel History Matters. Yeah, I think I already did one of the Why Southern Country Exist video. I guess this is a running cities, right? Why does Denmark own Greenland? Okay. Why is Antarctica? Basically, why certain things happen and why certain countries exist is some kind of a series, right? So, Luxembourg. I, I don't know which video was that. Was it real life Lord video? I don't know. There was one of the videos where I, I, I talked about Luxembourg and, you know, I'm like, hmm, that's a, such a small country and with a, such a small population. I came to know that from FIFA controversy where Luxembourg got the same money as the ma big countries did, right, somehow. So, that somebody told me that History Matter is a great channel who basically covered this. So I'm like, what the hell? And then I did lots of History Matter video but didn't come across this until I saw the watch literally. It's like, okay, holy shit, I didn't do this. So, let's do it. Yeah. Luxembourg, basically just seeing the map here and knowing any history that I know of. If I'm going to think, first of all, in very past time, probably uh, Holy Roman Empire it was part of that, probably seeing the geography of it, right? Uh, then I guess Napoleonic Wars also, you know, uh, consumed it somewhat. Probably uh, G Germany, uh, no, wait a minute. Did Nazi Germany took over that? I don't know. But probably affected by that too. But yeah. I guess Belgium and Luxembourg is probably going to have similar history and they got, uh, you know, uh, they got sovereignty around the same time or something because they, it was part of one entity before or something like that. Yeah, let's see it. Remember, we'll reflect my Rickson. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check out the Rickson. There's a link in the season. Uh, there you'll find playlists for different things as well. Yeah, let's watch it. ...sits in an important location between the French, German and Dutch speaking worlds. It's also not a very large country with a very... 15 feet tops. ...between the French, German and... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Luxembourg, look at that. So, basically, uh, Luxembourg would have been screwed, but I guess Big Brother Belgium was there to, you know, uh, take all the blunt uh, effect from Germany and France, right? Germany and France is fighting, they'll go through Belgium or something. Luxembourg is like, I'm going to be fine. ...and Dutch-speaking worlds. It's also not a very large country with a very small population, especially when compared to the major nations and kingdoms which have flanked it throughout its Soon. life. This raises an obvious question. Why does Luxembourg exist and why wasn't it incorporated into its larger neighbours? So, Luxembourg has been geographically important since the Middle Ages, back when it was a duchy and a part of the Holy Roman Empire. As of 1475, go. Luxembourg was in a union with the Duchy of Burgundy, and it was ruled by a man called Charles the Bold, whom the King of France was not a fan of due to Charles's immense influence there. In 1477, Charles did the French King a solid and died, and it took a whole six seconds for France to pounce and take these lands. To protect the remainder, Charles's sole heir, Mary, was married to the future Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian Habsburg. The remaining areas were consolidated and Luxembourg was incorporated into what's called the Habsburg Netherlands. These mm. remained under the direct control of the Holy Roman Emperor until the 16th century, when Charles V abdicated the throne, giving them to Spain. It wasn't long until the Dutch decided that this arrangement wasn't for them, and so off they went, leaving Luxembourg as a part of the remaining Spanish Netherlands. In the 17th century, war with France saw Luxembourg shrink again, and after the War of the Spanish Succession, it got handed over to Austria and it remained with Austria until the French Revolution and its subsequent incorporation into the First French Republic in 1795. In the following two decades, there was a lot of war, a lot of Napoleon, the Holy Roman Empire was dissolved, and when the dust settled, Luxembourg's future was decided by the victors at the Congress of Vienna. Here, several things happened to Luxembourg. First, it came under the rule of William I, the king of the brand new United Kingdom of the Netherlands, and entered into a personal union with it. Second, it lost this territory to Prussia. Third, it was brought into the German Confederation, the sort of successor to the Holy Roman Empire, which gave it a sort of mixed constitution, with the nation being ran by William's Dutch administrators and defended or occupied by Prussian troops. And fourth, to make up for all of this, the Duchy of Luxembourg became the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, because that way William couldn't complain. Now, it wasn't long until the United Kingdom of the Netherlands broke up, with Belgium leaving and taking this massive chunk of Luxembourg with it, giving- What the fuck, man? I did not see that coming. Right, I thought hmm, Luxembourg probably certain people like you know probably Belgium uh, got away from certain empire and part of those certain people just decided that oh fuck it we're gonna call ourselves Luxembourg and fine. I thought that's what the history is going to be. I didn't know Luxembourg had such a deep history of the past and over time people just swallowed its land over time and made make it smaller, smaller and smaller. Oh, this look at that. Even by by the end, even Belgium is like I'm gonna take that part. And look at how small it's left. So, uh, Luxembourg has a, some kind of a sad history. I did not see that coming. Holy shit, like people just ate it. Small, slowly and slowly just shrink it. 
moving it its modern borders. It stayed under the control of the Dutch king, who soon found himself in serious financial problems. To the rescue came Napoleon III, who in 1867 offered him a bunch of cash for Luxembourg, which he accepted. Now, Otto von Bismarck, the Chancellor of the North German Confederation, objected. To prevent war, Britain and Russia arbitrated and came up with a solution. This saw Luxembourg remain independent and further declare itself to be forever neutral. It would remain under the control of the Dutch monarchy, and it was also ordered that North German troops would withdraw. And in return, Berlin would get extra economic concessions. Luxembourg would continue to be ruled by the Dutch monarchy. So let me get this straight. Only way Luxembourg survived is because everybody hated, or obviously opponents hated, Otto von Bismarck, like Britain and France. Uh, so basically they intervened, like, no, 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 you're not getting Luxembourg, this and that. So that's the only way Luxembourg survived, right? Damn until Wilhelmina took the throne in 1890. The Grand Duchy didn't permit for women in its line of succession, and so it went to Adolf of Nassau. This state of now independent neutrality remained until 1914 when German troops invaded and World War I. After the war, the Entente didn't really know what to do with Luxembourg, except for the Belgians who really wanted to annex it. The French said no, and the remaining members reaffirmed Luxembourgish neutrality in 1920, which would last a whopping 20 years. This time when- <laughs> In World War I, Germans were so like, you know, acting about all of them, right? First of all, Britain basically sent a letter like, oh, don't go through Belgium. It li they literally ignored it, didn't even respond, right? So I bet when they took on Luxembourg, they're like, Luxembourg, what was Luxembourg? Oh, that's the part in the, you know, in that day. What, that wasn't part of Germany? I didn't even know that. <laughs> When the Germans came knocking for a second time, Luxembourg wasn't just occupied, but also incorporated into Germany itself. Yeah, this, of course, of wouldn't course last because that. Germany lost the Second World War and Luxembourg was restored and it would remain independent to this day. Although it would renounce its permanent neutrality and became a member of NATO and the European Economic Community shortly afterwards. And that is how Luxembourg still exists. I hope you enjoyed this episode and a special thanks mm. to my patrons. James Bizanet, The Pastry Section, Danny Maloney, Mark and Cassell, Kelly Moneymaker, Rob Waterhouse, John Bizquez, Mo, James Castaneda, Aaron the Whites, Jordan Longley, Marcus Arsner, Gustav Swan, Jerry Lambdin, John Bailey, Cooling... What is this supposed to be? The leaves and this thing on the face? Castleman, Rashid Ali, Spinning Three Plates, Fielder Oink Oink, Maggie Patskowski, David Silver... Okay, seriously, after that, uh, you know, Stalin one, I kind of tried to look for, is there going to be more in the end credits picture? <laughs> the Stalin was so epic. First I didn't realize it, then like, oh, wait a minute, that's Stalin, painting all pictures. Yeah. So, obviously, it kind of, you know, kind of made sense, like, Holy Roman Empire, the Nap I guess it was before the Napoleonic times, they kind of got sucked into France, but I thought it was going to be Napoleon, but no. But then, obviously, Hitler took it over because, of course, he did, right? But it was, too, you know, taken over by Germany in World War One as well. But yeah, but now, you know, obviously, now it's going to be somewhat stable, right? Uh, with part of being, uh, you know, NATO and everything, recognized country. If in the modern world, every country recognizes you as a country and you are not part of some group like NATO, which has many major power countries in it, I guess you, but even though you're a small country, you're probably going to be fine. But yeah. All right, well, that was uh, Why Does Luxembourg Exist by the channel History Matters. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the reaction I did. Check out the cards, I guess. Check out the link in the description. There you'll find different type of reaction, game reaction, history reaction, science reaction. I'm trying to, you know, make another channel where I split my content up. Right now, it's way too chaotic. Every, every different type of videos are there. But yeah, I'll see you next time.